right now is like, I ain't gonna say they not respecting what, what people did in the past, but like, how the, how the music scene is right now, it's seeing like, what you did in the past or what you did before the artist this, this out now is cool, but you kind of got to be relevant right now. So like, like what, what, what would you say to that? Cause like, they ain't got no morals. You ain't got no morals in it. If you can't respect the pioneers, fam, that paid the way for whoever doing shit now, then you ain't got no morals, fam. But a lot of a lot of the a lot of the artists don't know about the pioneers from from. Well, then do your homework. For sure. But but would you say the same? They thing? know. They would you, would you say the same thing to the to to the people that's looking to the to the new artists like? On them doing their homework on the artists? That's a good point though, bro. That's a great point. But I have seen like the pioneers reach out to the young squads though. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. Don't reach out to them. Cause the young squads going hard, man. Shout out to all the block bill artists going hard. You know what I'm saying? I seen all these artists dropping, young artists, man. And you're right, they don't know about the pioneers who paid away for them out of out of Arkansas. They don't know. Man, but like, you know, like Big Ticket said, when I, from people from other cities come here from Arkansas and they fly in, as soon as I come off the damn plane, I need to be hearing about the coldest artist of Arkansas, period. So I step off the plane. If you ain't, if that ain't your name, fam, keep grinding. You know what I'm saying? Some of them artists need to link up with the EW and put them on the track. You need to hook up with the Arkansas boat and put them on the track. You understand what I'm saying? You only going off the names that you hearing. Oh man, man, that, that shit fabricated. Cause some of these niggas be talking about shit they ain't doing. I'm gonna keep it honest, man. I'm not. I'm not. Do, do, do they gotta be though? Like, it's a, do they gotta be doing what? The, what it's like a. Kid, it's like it's like characters now, man. Really, you know, back in the days you had to do the shit first, then talk about it. Now there's pop, niggas, you think Pop did anything he talked about? Man, why you gotta bring Pop? I just, I'm just. Well, you know what? Cause, yeah. cause, cause, cause right though, they, they look up like. The prior generation, they look up to pop. They, they like when you, when you say something about a real artist. Nine times out of ten, pop name gonna come up. You right though. You right. And the thing I love, I love pop, man. I think that when he got the death row, he just had to play a role. You know what I'm saying? What I'm saying, like if pop would have stayed in the East Coast and went, he would have with the bad boy. Think about it. If he would have stayed in the East Coast and not went to the West Coast, he probably would have signed with. Bad boy, so he probably would have been different. But hey, he would he would, would he be would he be as legendary as he exactly. is? Exactly. He would have been as legendary as he was. I just think God has a plan for you and his plan was to go to the West Coast. But see, Pop was he went to school for acting and shit. You know what I'm saying? What I'm saying? So he felt like he had to play he wasn't no, you know, so I'm just I'm just asking because it seemed like it seemed like to a to a older generation, a generation before uh, 95, 96. Right. It's like Pop get a pass. He got a pass. Because he went hard. Go hard like Pop, you will get a pass, probably. Because he was talking about shit that nobody was talking about. And he made it sound good, extra good. He, I'm talking about, but, he, but look what Pop did. He talked he talk probably about women. Brenda got a baby. He talked about shit that was going on in the world. He wasn't just talking about, oh, I'm going to shoot you, smoke weed, fucking bitches up. Man, he wasn't talking see, about that. See, this, the, this He this, was flipping it. You're right. You're right. But, but this this the thing that I get, this is the thing that I get, like, from, from the new artists. Nobody pays attention when they say, when, when they give you the reality. They don't, people really only pay attention when, when they talk about murder talk, when they talk about you know what it is. Means. And if your third eye opened then you know that's what the labels want. For you sure. know what I'm talking about? For sure. That's the agenda of it. The agenda is they don't want you to talk about positive. Okay. They want you to talk about shooting, drugs, sex, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. They don't want you to talk about all that. You talking about that, man, skill. They don't want to hear that. They don't want to hear that. They want to hear it. They want to hear it. You got smoke. Smoke. Shoot you. For sure, that's, that's, that, you know that, might be the, that might be the agenda of, of, the, of the labels, but what I'm saying is for the, for the consumer, for the listener, for the people that's critiquing the, the, right. the, the new artists, right. 
why is it that the first thing we speak about is them carrying the gun, them uh them drinking lean, popping pills, and that these same rappers will have some music that's uh catered to the truth. These same rappers will have that music. And it's nothing said about that, but it's it's always brought to the light when they say, "I got a Draco, ooh, stuff like this." Right. Like, it's a, to me, it's like it's a it's a kiss twenty two because it's like a constant fashion of the new artist. And you and, and when I give you a prime example of Tupac, who said, "Uh, my four four old, make sure all your kids don't grow." You feel me? But but now. But now you got you got an artist, whoever the case may be, he got a Draco in his video, and Paul oh, man, the bitch gonna come get you. What's the difference? You know when Dolph talk about Drake and Lean, and you know, cause somebody had a point. They was like, oh man, I'm sad Dolph dead. But really, the perspective was he talked about sipping Lean. He talking about he insists on niggas to kill your family, you know all that. The perspective was that's what he talked about. You know what I'm saying? So the perspective is as an artist is I'm gonna talk about it. No matter if I live, I'm still gonna talk about it, even if I won't send a hit to your family or whatever the case. I'm gonna talk about it because that's the perspective. Because that's what the consumers want to hear. You dig what I'm saying? No matter if I do it or not, but what if I do do it? And I'm going to talk about it, and I'm going to be about that shit, too. You understand what I'm saying? If somebody crossed my paths, and I'm going to talk about what I'm rapping about. But then look at the perspective of it. The catch-22 is you're going to end up in a pen. You're going to see your family no more. Man, somebody, mama going to be crying. All of that come in perspective. You dig? I think that the music nowadays, and what I'm trying to do for my, for my avenue, with my show, is to try to, you see, I don't just do artists now. I do high school athletes now coming out with I'm gonna do college athletes coming up in addition in a minute. So, I got an entrepreneurs coming out. I got a I, I ran a shot to my man Sauce Mills and Palm Bo with his with his shop. You dig? I got a lady right now. I got a lash. Lashes come out the vending machine. Yeah. You understand what I'm saying? If it's positive, that's what I want to bring to my show. Now, if you got some lyrics, you know, hey, that's you, fam. If you're a great artist, you coming to the show. I don't care about what you're talking about. But if you're talking about it, fam, just be humble. All I'm saying is just be humble, fam, with this shit. What's up? That's all I'm saying. You dig what I'm saying? That's a good point. Because people don't understand, it takes a lot to get to. <laughs> it's a grind. It's a grind, fam. I'm talking about for other people to like you, not just your city. If you just want to be a local star, then go ahead, be a local star, man. You want that? That's cool. But if you're trying to really make it, fam, you got to have to take steps. You got to be a model artist to make it now, fam. You understand what I'm saying? For people to like you on the outside of your city. You dig? You don't want to have a banging ass shit in your city, then take it to somewhere else. They don't know, they don't even know nothing about you. And then if you then when they put it in, they like, oh man, that shit whack. Take some South shit to the West Coast. Niggas ain't gonna play that shit. You think so? Unless it's hot. Unless it's banging. You know what though? When you say that, it's like. Have you ever, have you ever, uh, have you ever been to a showcase? Well, plenty of time. All right. Have you ever been to a showcase where an artist is in the showcase, he got a banging, he got a banging song, but, right. he, but he's by himself. Right. He's by himself and there is no one to amp his music up. So he get, he gets a dull reaction from from the crowd as opposed to another artist getting up there and he's got 10, 15 people back and, and, and they bouncing up and down and it's like man this person that this got this entourage with him mm -hmm. his music yep. seems harder than the person that's by themselves that right. don't have nobody backing them right right well if you see the Kanye trilogy man look how he came up nobody believed in him. That man made his own beats. That man rapped on his own stuff, man. It took him a minute to get on. You understand what I'm saying? He came, he went to shows. Nobody believed he could rap. I'd have been to shows out there in Conway. Shout out to Jay Jackson. I probably would have, man, artists got out there, had a mob full of people. 
One artist got up there and only had like five people, but he still went hard. I'm talking about he went hard like like it was a hundred people in there. Yeah, I'm not I'm not I'm not taking from that. I'm what I'm what I'm asking is the majority rule. Majority rule. The popularity. Popularity. It's a popularity contest. How do you get around it? Man, just keep going, man. It ain't really it, it ain't really no no way around the popularity contest, fam. Really, if they like you, they like you. If they don't, then keep going to make some or do some so they do like you. You gotta keep going. I, you know, I, th it ain't no way around this popularity shit. I've been popular since high school. I don't know about that. You understand what I'm saying? You know, but if you want, if you're not popular like that, make yourself pop. Nobody knew about Buzz TV. I went to the East Coast, came back, now Buzz TV all over the place. He made himself pop. That man said he came from the bottom to the top. I didn't even know about Buzz. You gotta keep going so until somebody know. watch. Nobody know about Rod the Fame TV. When I first started, man, shout out to Gundy, man. When I did Fox, I did Fox, man. Out of Trill Entertainment, man. Boosie right hand. Right. That was my first interview. Man, uh, man, it wasn't even nobody in. I mean, no people didn't know I was doing that. It, you know what I mean? It, I had to build my, you know what I mean? Like, now I got a, a DM full of artists. When I mean, at first, nobody went checking for me, fam. They went. You know what I mean? Until I started. You know what I mean? And it's, I'm going to say this on wax, man. It, you know, I, people are like, why you don't charge? I do charge. I got an LLC. Prezi do charge. But if I come at you and say, hey, man, you're a hot artist, man. I see you doing your thing. I see you trying to come out the mud. So, or, man, some people come in like, damn, Prez, I ain't, I ain't got the $50. Man, man, come on. You know what I'm trying to say? Come on. Even though you ain't got the 50 so, Because I know how it is. To be struggling, to not have the opportunity to go to a studio.